All right, hey, here we go. We got the Sandy Flow Access 2. Um, I just want to show you how I set it up before I drywall the walls and all that. All right, so we have this basement here. Didn't have access to the plumbing. So um, here's the unit. Okay, so this is my sump pump here. I had to work around my sump pump. All right, so this is a one inch pipe on top that comes with it and you can't use any 90 degree bends you got to do 45s to make a 90 so that's one inch and that's what they call a slurry that's what makes a slurry of all your turds and stuff and it shoots it up this pipe it shoots it up this one inch pipe I put a ball valve on it which is recommended because you can shut that off if you have to access this because some water does get left in that one inch pipe water and or waste you know what I mean so uh, installed some electric here because it needs um, wasn't specif specific on what electric so that doesn't matter I just put 15 amp all right and then over here I had to call the company on the right because it shows that that's only allowed to have a drain in it but uh, it can also be used as the vent. Now this is the Sani Access 2. The other ones, it specifies you clearly can have vents on both sides, but this one, the directions are horrible. And it looks like only a drain could be on this side, but I call it and you can have a vent. So that is one and a half inch pipe for the vent. And again, one inch over there. And notice there's a drain over here coming from the bathroom. That's one and a half. Again, that can be on Water can be on 90s, just the slurry here can't be on 90s. So this right down here is the water coming in from a sink. And that's the vent. So the vent, you gotta have it tied in with the vent so the water doesn't glug and all that. So I have that going up there, going all the way over here, turning up, and tie that into vents from my other toilets. No big deal there. Gotta have a good vent going to the outside and then here is the one inch on that 45 bunch of different I'm not a plumber so I don't care if it doesn't look good but it's it's on a downward slope and that's all that matters so look you got that so this is the slurry taking the slurry ride down the slurry luge and then I tied it back behind that wall there is um, the clean out three inch clean out area so that's where the turds take their final luge. All right, so I'll show you. The, so here's my drain. The, and the water just goes here. And that's a vent, so tied into the other vent. And the drain, boom, boom, boom. All right, so I decided to have mine, I put on the stone line behind this wall, on the drywall. So bought this tube for 50 bucks. That tube cost $50. And that just ties onto your slurry machine. And that's that. And I'm gonna make a little board, a little platform back here, but just wanna show you before I draw well anything. So far, so good. Um, you know what, here, let me, uh, I'll dump some water in it so you can hear what it sounds like and see what it's like. Hang on, let me fill up a bucket. All right, here we go, I just filled up a bucket. And I'm just gonna dump water in here. That's it. I think you barely can hear it. My water booster just kicked on. I installed that too. Ooh, highly recommend that baby. Oh my gosh, game changer. Finally can take a shower and wash clothes at the same time. That thing's, oh my gosh, that's a Cadillac of water boosters. Love it. So anyway, let me do it again with that off. Hang on. All right, water booster turned off. Here we go, listen to it. That's it. Shoots out the tube and good to go. All right, so far so good. I like the product. A little expensive, but hey, it's getting me a bathroom down here. All right, any questions, let me know.